Hello everyone, my name is Bill, and this is Yo-Yo Tech. This is the place that I come to talk about smart home automation. Home assistant, tech gadgets, phones, 3D printing, AI, etc. If I'm thinking about it involves technology, I'm probably going to share it here with you. If that sounds interesting, please consider subscribing below, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you're notified when I release new content. And speaking of new content, I'm aiming for Thursday releases, but I was curious what day is best for you. Let me know with a comment below, and if there's something specific you'd like me to cover, I'll well, add that there as well. For those of you that are new to the world of home automation, Home Assistant, it's an open source home automation platform that's been improving the way we interact with our homes since its first release way back in September 2013. From its humble beginnings, Home Assistant has undergone significant transformations. Initially, it supported only a handful of devices and it was super difficult to set up and configure. Now, it boasts compatibility with virtually every smart device you can think of, and with a focus on usability, over the last few years, it's become super user-friendly. You no longer need a coding degree to use it. In fact, in my opinion, it's the best option for home automation out there. So today, I'm gonna walk you through a simple setup of Home Assistant. I'm gonna share what you need to get started and how to quickly set up, detect devices you've already got in your home. Home Assistant, it can be installed in almost any device you can most likely download it and set it up on the computer you're using right now. And if you just want to try it out, it's, it's not a bad option. But today I'm going to walk you through a setup on a Raspberry Pi. If you've never heard of the Raspberry Pi, it's an inexpensive, tiny little computer that's perfect for Home Assistant. You can pick one up for around 50 bucks and you can use it as a dedicated device for running Home Assistant. If you don't already have one, I've put a link in the description below for a kit that includes everything you're going to need. And essentially that includes a Raspberry Pi, version 3 or later. A high-speed micro SD card, at least 32 gigs, so you're going to have enough room for everything. A micro SD card reader for flashing Home Assistant software onto the card. And don't forget a power supply. There's one included in the kit, and the kit also has a heat sink, a small case, and a few other things to hold it all together. You're going to need another computer as well, just to set up the SD card, and then you use its browser to complete the setup and, and use Home Assistant moving forward. So, here we go. This is going to be so much easier than you ever thought. To start, I want you to put the micro SD card into the reader that came in your kit, and go ahead and plug it into a USB port on your computer. Then, on that computer, open up a browser and head over to https slash slash raspberrypi.com slash software. As always, the link's going to be in the description for you. We are going to go ahead and download and install a Raspberry Pi installer. This is a little tool that will copy Home Assistant to your SD card. So go ahead and click on the appropriate download link for the computer you're using to start the download. Once that's downloaded, open the Raspberry Pi imager and choose the device type you plan to use. Then under Operating System, choose Other Specific Purpose OS, and then Home Assistance and Automation, and finally, Home Assistant. Now you want to go ahead and select the version of Home Assistant for the version of Raspberry Pi that you're planning to use. Finally, under Storage, click the button to select the USB SD card reader. Make sure you get the right one, as this is going to overwrite everything on the card and click Next to start the process of writing Home Assistant to the SD card. Once flashing is complete, eject the micro SD card and insert it in your Raspberry Pi. At this point, you can hide the Raspberry Pi away as you're not going to need direct access to it. I have mine in a cabinet with my internet router. I just connected the Ethernet cable from the Pi to my router and the power supply to turn it on. All right, now during the first boot, Home Assistant's going to take a few minutes to set up. Once it's ready, you can access it from another computer on the same network by navigating to http slash slash homeassistant.local full colon 8123 in your web browser. It's going to take like 10 to 15 minutes before this works. So go grab a coffee, have some patience, and you don't need to remember the URL. I put it in the description below. So once that URL loads, Simply follow the on-screen instructions to complete the initial setup. This is going to involve creating a user account, 
naming your home, setting your location, and a few other basic tasks. And that's it. Home Assistant's now ready for you to explore. It's most likely it will have already detected some smart devices in your home, and it's going to ask you to configure them. If not, you can add your smart devices, create automations, and much more, all from the Home Assistant dashboard. You can even go ahead and install the Home Assistant app on your Android or Apple device and use that to access the Home Assistant web UI from now on. So that's it. You've taken the first step. You have a dedicated Home Assistant hub. Take some time to get used to the interface. Visit the Home Assistant forums and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to share some of my favorite automations, tips and tricks, dashboards, and some of my favorite devices in the future. Home Assistant is super reliable and it's going to tie together all of your smart home devices. And if you're anything like me, it becomes a hobby that you can update and customize over time. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm going to catch you in the next one.